My name is Chris Cairns. I'm a, the Professor of Pharmacy Practice here at Kingston and I'm also the head of the School of the Department of Pharmacy. Uh, my job is really, uh, as a Professor of Pharmacy Practice, is to lead on pharmacy practice issues, both teaching and research, because the vast majority of our students become pharmacists at the end of the day. And this is, my job is to ensure that they become hopefully in the fullness of time, good pharmacists. My other main job as head of department is to look after the administrative and managerial issues associated with the School of Pharmacy. That includes things like getting our courses accredited with the, the regulatory body, dealing with fitness to practice issues for, for the pharmacy students who are considered as student healthcare professionals, and coordinating the, the staff in, in, in the school. My background is not traditionally uh, that, that you would associate with an academic. I worked for 30 years in the, in the National Health Service as a pharmacist in hospital, uh, finishing up as a, as a chief pharmacist in a very busy uh, inner city hospital, where I also worked as a general manager for clinical support services. Uh, it, 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 fairly big job, we had a budget of about £25 million, which is a fairly large responsibility in, in addition to professional responsibilities. I have actually taught pharmacy students, uh, particularly at postgraduate level, and pharmacists and uh, pre-registration pharmacists for a long time during my career. And I moved into academia about uh, in 2004 uh, as, as a chair in pharmacy practice. Uh, I am a pharmacist, obviously, and uh, uh, I see my job really is trying to nurture the next generation of pharmacists. There are three accredited courses to associate with pharmacy here at Kingston. Uh, the main one, which is the largest number of students, is the, the M Farm programme or Masters of Pharmacy programme, where we, uh, which is the traditional pharmacy route to qualifying as a pharmacist. At the university, we teach the first four years of, of the, uh, the whole programme and students graduate with a master's degree in uh, of pharmacy. Uh, having done that, they, they can then go on and do the, the fifth year of training for a pharmacist as pre-registration training before they would fully register. Uh, in addition, we have two other courses with smaller numbers. One for students who perhaps haven't uh, done as well at school, and that's a foundation degree in pharmaceutical and chemical sciences that is a two-year programme and the successful students on that programme can enter directly into the second year of the pharmacy programme and would then go forward on to, to gaining their M farm. We also run a course for pharmacists from outside the European Union who wish to re-qualify in the United Kingdom and that's a, a diploma programme that runs over a single year. Students who are successful on this overseas pharmacist programme can then move forward to do the pre-registration training and subsequently, if they pass the registration exam, uh, will register as a pharmacist in the United Kingdom. What makes Kingston's pharmacy courses different? I think the, the big difference is, is we're very patient focused. Pharmacists at the end of the day, whether they work in community pharmacy or hospital pharmacist, pharmacy, their job is to help look after people who are unwell. Their expertise in the science and application of medicines is how they do that. We, from day one in the course, work with the science and we work with the practice together to hopefully uh, integrate processes and move things forward. Students do clinical placements in first, second, third and in fourth year. and so. Our aim really is to produce pharmacists who know and have the expertise to help sick people get better and I think that's a great strength of our course and we will build upon that over the, the coming years as well. Another great asset is that a very large number of our uh, academic staff are pharmacists and many of them practice in community, hospital, and industrial settings as well as work here and they have the real ability to bring in day-to-day -day experience from today into our course and into our teaching 
and our students benefit greatly from that. It's obvious that the vast majority of our graduates will become pharmacists, uh, the majority of those being in the community or hospital practice. But there are other opportunities working in the pharmaceutical industry, obviously becoming academic pharmacists like myself and my colleagues, working with the regulatory bodies and professional bodies. So there's a whole range of opportunities. That being said, the vast majority will work in community with a sizable majority, probably about 20 to 30% working in hospital pharmacy. They all give fulfilling careers and are obviously a vital part of our country's healthcare system. What do we do to help students to choose and to make their decisions about what areas they want to work in and how they get jobs? Well, obviously the placement programme is very helpful. It allows pharma the pharmacy students to see what pharmacists do and how pharmacists contribute to the healthcare system. It gives them opportunities to decide whether they want to work in the community or the hospital sector. We also have a careers fair every year where uh, people from community chains like the major chains like Boots, and Superdrug, the supermarket pharmacies like Sainsbury's, Morrison's, some of the smaller chains and pharmacists from the National Health Service come in and they have stands and they talk to the students and uh, give them material about what careers are and how to, how to apply. One of our staff is actually uh, part employed by one of the major chains and she helps to coordinate a summer placement programme with that chain and that organisation tends to appoint its pre-registration pharmacists from those students who've done summer placements with it with them. We also uh, encourage the students to work together and uh, they have, there's a couple of student bodies for pharmacy students, the Kingston University Pharmacy Students Association, COOPSA, and the Kingston branch of the BPSA, British Pharmaceutical Students Association, and we encourage and support them and they run a, a whole range of individual events as well, many of them orientated about future careers and professional issues. Uh, last but not least, uh, particularly our third and fourth year students are invited to attend the local pharmaceutical forum meetings that are run by the profession and there are meetings actually held at Kingston which the students are welcome to come along to to get the opportunity not only to develop themselves but also to meet pharmacists from a whole wide variety uh, of branches of the profession.